Well, a row of flowers, look at this, now standing outside of a home. This is in Miami County this evening. A memorial to the three people who were murdered inside that home this month. Police have now arrested this man, Mitchell Page, and, and charged him with that crime. But the investigation is not over yet. Tonight, we're talking to the family closest to this tragedy, who say they spent time with the suspect after the killing. And they tell our Wes McQuaid he was the last person, in fact, they would have ever expected to do something like this. This is a park in Flora where the grandparents of a little girl brought her to play last Saturday, not knowing that her mother, their daughter, was the victim of a triple killing in Peru the night before. Robert and Crystal King read the probable cause affidavit that explained the murders of their daughter, Jessica Sizemore, her daughter, Raylan, and the fiance, Josiah Hall. It happened inside this mobile home just off US 31 in Miami County. Jessica's ex-boyfriend, Mitchell Page, is accused of the murders. I don't know, this was the last person I ever expected Why? to have done this. <laughs> I thought he loved my daughter. I thought he loved my granddaughter. According to the probable cause affidavit, a witness saw Page go into the trailer on May 16th and heard as many as five gunshots. Why did nobody say anything? Gunshots in a trailer park. It took five days for someone to discover the bodies. Jessica's two-year-old son was also in the home. He was dehydrated but unharmed. I believe God, Jesse, and Jessica were watching him, and so was Raylan. And Raylan was Just making okay. sure that he was okay. I think we got to him just in time. Investigators say Jessica's six-year-old daughter, who she shared with Paige, sat in her dad's pickup truck during the killings. I just told her they went to be with the angels. That's all I could tell her. The family says the day after the murders, Paige brought the six-year-old over to their house and that he never let on, that he was distraught or that something had happened. He didn't seem affected at all. He was in the yard playing with my 11-year-old son. Like it was just Smiling. any other day he came over to the house. The family says now it wants to focus on the recovery and raising of Jessica's two remaining children. Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.